So that was Creepy Jack. Fantastic film. So much packed into it. I think Brian J. Madison, the director, um, produced a fantastic short film with his son. So more, to more power to you, Brian. Um, absolutely brilliant, mate. Fantastic. And we're just going to take a short break now and show you some little... Hey, so it's been a lot of fun so far, but I think it's time we took a little break so we can go purge ourselves. For those of you who are staying with us for this intermission, please enjoy the Hellbound Community Cosplay and Art Showcase. My name's Dave Kendall. I'm here to, um, I'm one of the judges for the Hellbound uh, Film Festival, and uh, it's been a, a fantastic uh, group of films. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm a, a comic illustrator, mainly, um, but I also do other fantasy and horror illustrations. My first, uh, my first job was uh, with the, who's called the godfather of British comics, a guy called Pat Mills, who created 2000 AD, and he created a colour comic with um, a guy called Kevin O'Neill, who... Um, was the illustrator for martial law and works with Alan Moore on the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Um, he, he actually noticed my work first and sent it on to Pat and I did a story for Toxic which was a, a comic they were producing to rival 2000 AD at the time um, called Psycho Killer which um, strangely enough was about a, um, a psychiatric doctor who dealt with real possessions, um, exorcisms, um, demonic possessions, um, walk-ins and werewolves and everything else and, and we, we told this particularly nasty story about a, a gangster who'd possessed a, an East End boy and was busy slaughtering his way around uh, London, um, which is Psycho Killer, um, which was taken from the, um, oh, I can't remember his name, from the song Psycho Killer. And this guy was, this doctor was brought in to deal with this gangster. Um, so yeah, I started off, and that was pretty horrific. That's probably one of the most horrific things I've ever done. And that was my first professional job. Um, and from there, I did some work with uh, Brian Lumley, who who wrote the Necroscope series, uh, drawing his Van Fury story for an American company called Malibu. Uh, did a couple of issues of that, but unfortunately, Malibu was taken over by Marvel, so um, that disappeared. Um, I've also worked with um, I do an awful lot of work with Magic the Gathering, which is a uh, tabletop uh, trading game company. Um, they do they have a range of stuff in their in their in their cards with horror and fantasy and uh light and dark uh, l luckily i tend to get a lot of the dark stuff for some reason which is uh, which is, isn't too bad and um but my main my main job i tend to work for at the moment is uh, 2000 ad uh i i produce a story called the fall of dead world well, which involves judge dread's nemesis which is judge death now if you don't know who Judge Death is, uh, he's a judge from an, another dimension who decided that as all crime is committed by the living, if you remove the living, there'll be no crime. Um, he wiped out his first planet, uh, the, the planet he was born on, and then he moved to Judge Dredd's world where he, he fared less well. But uh, we're telling the story of um, Judge Death's um, success in destroying his entire planet. We've run to... I think we're running to about 300 pages now of this story and I, I don't think we're even halfway through. Um, we've, we've elaborated a lot on John Wagner's, John Wagner's the creator of Judge Death, we've elaborated on John Wagner's story and taken it further 
added in new characters, trying to keep the canon correct so that the readers of 2000 AD aren't aren't upset by the fact we're we're playing fast and loose with any rules um, already set in place. Um, we're expanding a little bit, so we're getting a little bit Cthulhu-esque with our expansion of Judge Death and how he's actually destroying this planet along with his lieutenants, Fear, Mortis and Fire. It's particularly horrific and it's, I mean, living in, in a world at the moment where, which, which is quite dystopian with disease and everything, uh, going into a, a, a illustration job where I'm destroying a planet is, is kind of kind of cheery actually <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say that but yeah it's it's um it's a, it's a very fun job it's an ongoing project and all my other illustration work tends to work around that um but generally I I, I love drawing horror I've, I have sketchbooks full of horror drawings and illustrations I have ideas lined up that I want to produce but uh, with comics, it takes an awful lot long time and it's very work intensive to produce enough work. So, um, you know, hopefully um, I will get to realize those dreams. But at the moment, I'm very, very happy with what I've got on my plate. So uh, and it's, it is pretty horrific. So you can find you can find the Dead World books uh, online from Rebellion, who produced 2000 AD. So if you want to have a look, feel free. <laughs> plays of your own that you would like to show off, boy do we have some great news for you. The Hellbound Community Cosplay Showcase will be continuing after this broadcast. Just submit your cosplay images to us via Instagram and we will feature you on our social media accounts and our website. And now, back to the show. Did you see that? <laughs> anyway, um, the next film you're about to see is one of my favorites. It's the most atmospheric of the films that we received. It, it's just so beautifully shot and I cannot wait for y'all to watch it. So here we go. <laughs> 